What's poppin' T-Squad? It's me, Keisha, and I'm here today with my spill the tea. Dwayne Wade, ain't she baby daddy? Or no. Nah. So today on the Gossip of the City, D-Wade's baby mama, Asia Moiter, I think that's how you pronounce her last name. Anywho, remember she was on um, a season of Basketball Wise where she could, really couldn't discuss Dwayne because he put out a gag order on her. But she was the person that he quote unquote had a break baby with. But we all know he just literally cheated on um, Gabrielle Union. But anywho, so she posted and deleted this on her story saying, I be wanting to air this nigga out i swear i mean internet would be broken and i believe you i have taken issue with Dwayne wade and his quote-unquote fatherly skills or relationship with his son xavier for quite some time because i have always found it very odd that we never see him with said child. The child, as we know, is never on uh, over to the house with him and Gabby and Kavia and his other two sons. Um, he never posts said son. Um, and I know before we get to saying, well, maybe he just don't want his son all over social media. Or maybe the mama don't want to post him. You go on Asia's page, you will definitely see plenty of photos of xavier so it's not a thing where they're trying to keep his identity hidden for safety reasons or whatnot it's literally a situation that i believe and these are my opinions that after he cheated on gabrielle and this baby was brought into this world gabrielle made or gave some type of ultimatum that you can be a father to this child, but the child will never be welcome to my home. You will never be able to really post about said child or whatever, because I'm not really truly understanding why he constantly posts Kavia, constantly posts um uh what what is the the, the daughter's name now Zahara Z Z Z whatever um his trans daughter his oldest son who plays basketball he even was raising I think one of his nephews at one point constantly always supporting and posting and openly publicly loving on those children but we never see that type of public affection for xavier and it really rubs me the wrong way because why are you like separating and causing a divide between the children where he will grow up and see damn i was treated differently like i was the the child with the scarlet letter on my chest like because of the way I was brought into this world or whatever. You know, Gabrielle wrote her book. I think she has two books out now discussing how she had multiple miscarriages. I think she said about nine and she had so many fertility problems. So just to imagine you going through all of this to give this man a baby and then he cheats on you allegedly and gives another woman a baby that you've been working so hard for. So I think that, like I said, I personally believe that that was one of the ultimatums for them to get back together and get married or whatever it was that you had that baby, but keep that little motherfucker from around me because everything about it just looks iffy. If you paid attention over the years since this child was born, that Gabrielle, when she talks about their children she only talks about three kids and that's the two sons that he had with his previous wife and Kavya. she never ever includes that little boy when she talks about their family which further to me says that that was the case that she don't fuck with that baby that baby can't never be over her Mm -mm. I have only seen D Wade publicly with that child one time and that was when he um, retired from basketball and the little boy was with them that day and I remember he posted him I think he may have posted him maybe twice this whole time it, the whole thing is just fucked up and iffy to me I really look at both of him and Gabrielle like they're trash ass human beings for the way that they treat that little boy because my thing with Gabrielle is, okay, he cheated on you. Or in y'all case, y'all put the story out that it was a break baby. But regardless, 
you chose to still marry this man after the fact and have a family with him. So once you made that decision to forgive him and to build a life with him and to go before God and say your vows, you should have accepted that damn child. And I really look at Dwayne crazy because you have a whole child who has came out as transgender that you fully love and support to the world and rally for and support and everything and, you know, go up against the haters and, you know, all of that. But you will not publicly be a father to your child, you know, Xavier, who's done nothing. He's just a regular little kid. It just doesn't make sense to me. It's very mind boggling. It's very trifling. And I can tell that there's a lot of shit going on behind the scenes with this whole situation. That's why Aja made the post that she made. Um, because, you know, like I said, he had a gag order on her. She can't say shit. But I'm sure that it's so much that could be said. And at some point will be said about this whole situation. And I just also want to know why nobody ever calls him or Gabrielle Union out on this when they do interviews and she writes books or she does um like I said anything you will always see she only references their three children and not four and it's so disrespectful and I look at him crazy that you would even lay down and marry a woman that excludes your fourth child I don't care how the hell he or she was made and it was also so funny to me that the one and only time that she did talk about this little boy is for promotion for her book so she can make money off her said pain but other than that she never acknowledges that little boy as one of their children or his children let me show reference to this this article that she did with refinant read 29 a few years ago um where she talks about colorism and um teaching you know her and Dwayne's uh children about you know racism and colorism in the article it says union is dedicated to having discussions with her three boys uh stepson Zaire and Zion and Wade's nephew uh Devon or Davian or whoever who lives with them about colorism this was before uh Kavia was born but she always only re referenced them as her children um she's done this in multiple interviews and it's just weird like that they have this type of agreement going on I just don't get it I don't understand it why do they treat that child like that why does Dwayne never speak hardly post about this little boy? Um, I think I saw a picture of him and a little boy at like a birthday party or something like that. Or him giving the little boy toys or something. But that's about the gist of it. It's really fucked up. It's really fucked up. And I don't know why no one calls them out on this. When they did that o uh, Oprah interview, when Kavya was first born, they never made mention of Xavier in that conversation when they discuss their children. It's just so fucked up. It's just so fucked up. One person that I can honestly and truly respect after they did what they did was Ludacris. Remember when Ludacris um, cheated on his uh, wife, uh, Aduxe, with their quote-unquote break baby, but you know they never broke up. But one thing I can say about that situation, he did what he did, he fucked up, but that little girl is in their lives on a regular basis to the point where she calls a Duxy her mom. A Duxy treats that little girl like she birthed her on her own. Um, uh, uh, That little girl and a Duxy's daughter that she has with Ludacris are like this. They have the best big sister little sister relationship she is so entwined in that family you would not even know that she has a different mother and that's how you do that situation i just don't understand why that's not happening over there in that household i really don't get it don't understand it why that child is not being fully accepted into their household into their lives i need answers what do you guys feel about this let me know down below in the comment section what do you think that the issue is how would you feel how would you handle yourself if your husband be your boyfriend fiance cheated on you or 
broke up with you at one point and had a baby and y'all got back together, how would you handle the situation? Do you think that it's right for them to handle the situation with Xavier the way that they are handling it? Let's talk down below in the comment section. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys and I will see you on the next one.